This is how to find an angle in any right triangle using inverse sine, cosine, or tangent. And the things we need to remember for this are three trigonometric ratios. We need to be given two sides of any right triangle. And the first ratio we're going to look at is sine. So the sine of theta is equal to our opposite side over our hypotenuse. The cosine theta is equal to our adjacent side over our hypotenuse. And finally, our tangent theta is equal to our opposite side over our adjacent side. Now, how do you remember which ratios to use? Well, there are a whole lot of mnemonic devices, one of which is Sokotoa. I like the one, uh, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. But in this case, this theta angle, we can draw an arrow to the opposite side. So 10 is our opposite, our theta, and the longest side is our hypotenuse. So this is going to be using sine. So the sine of this theta that we do not know is equal to the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, which is 10 over 15. And so what we need to do is get this theta by itself algebraically. And to do that, there's something called an inverse of sine operation. So we take the inverse sine of sine theta. And what this sine negative 1 thing does is it undoes the, the operation of sine. And so we do the same thing on the right side. And so we get the right side being the inverse sine of the fraction 10 over 15, which simplifies 2 thirds. That's beside the point. And so we get theta itself is equal to the inverse sine of 10 over 15. And for that, we can go to just about any scientific or graphing calculator. In this case, we have TN's power CX calculator. I go get a calculator page. And next to the 7 key is the, is the trig operations. I press that. And we go to right underneath the sign, the sign negative 1 thing. And we're going to put in the fraction 10 over 15. And we do that, we get uh, round to the nearest hundredth, 41.81 degrees. So we put our answer down here. Theta equals approximately 41 point eighty one degrees okay let's go look at our next example this time we don't have the same sides we had in the last example but our bottom side here next to or adjacent to this theta is called the adjacent side and our longest side as on our previous problem is our hypotenuse so our cosine of this angle theta is equal to our adjacent side, which is 9, over our hypotenuse, which is 17. So our theta itself is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of this fraction 9 17 And so we just, as we did in the previous problem, go to our calculator, and we're going to go to the trig and go to cosine negative 1. That's not cosine to the negative 1 power. It's inverse cosine. So we put the fraction 9 over 17, and we get an angle of 58.03 degrees, round to the nearest hundredth. So 58.03 degrees. Okay, and then one last example. We have opposite side over here is going to be square root of 104, and that's opposite our angle, theta. And our adjacent side down here is 11. 
So the tangent of our angle theta is equal to this fraction of square root of 104 over our adjacent side of 11. So our angle itself is equal to the inverse tangent of this fraction of square root of 104 over 11. And so just as we've done before, we go to our calculator, this time using inverse tangent, and we put square root of 104 over 11, and we get an angle around the nearest hundredth of 42.83 degrees. Okay, the main trick here is remembering which sides are which and the, the trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. But that's all there is to it. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.